So here is the main lobby of Sandals Bahamian. It's really beautiful. And here we are at the courtyard at Sandals. It's just beautiful. It's got beautiful fountains, beautiful statues. So the resort is split into two towers. What you're looking at now is the Balmoral Tower. It's the newest renovated tower. In between you'll find the two pools and on the other side you'll find the Windsor Tower. And here's the courtyard we just came through. It's quite a small property with the two towers and then the back they have villas. So it's, if you're interested in just a small property with not a lot of people, this might be the place for you. This is the main pool here at Sandals. It's the quiet pool. Once we get on the other side, I'll show you there's another pool about the same size, but it's where all the noise goes on during the day. So for young people, that would be the spot for you. If you just look to the right and right in front of us now is the Five Star Baccarat restaurant. It's by reservations only and it's very intimate and would be for really special occasions. Again, but no charge. So right in front of you now is the Spice Restaurant. It's open for breakfast and lunches. And it has, usually has a themed lunch. And they'll let you know as you go in. So I just want to take you to a nice little spot. These are the villas at the back of the property. Used mostly for honeymooners or people who just want to kind of get away from it. There's 10 buildings with 49 rooms. Sandals Bahamian has a colonial feel or a British feel as you can see by the big red telephone booth. So here's one of the little pools at the back. You can see it has a swing chair. Very nice. Just quiet, small little pools. They kind of dot the area back here in front of different villas. So it's really something to think about if you're looking for something quiet, homey. So here's the building area. Here's the Royal Theatre. So this small area separates the quiet pool from the noisy pool. Staff here at Sandals are excellent. So what you're seeing in front of you now is the Windsor Tower. So this is on the other side of the property. And here is the other pool. So I would say this is the more active pool. You'll find your playmakers here all day, having different activities, different contests. They play a lot of music. So this might be the pool for you. you have a swim up bar. Actually, both of them have a swim up bar. And if you just go around the corner here, you're going to find some of the main restaurants. It's all still the Windsor Tower. So this here is Cricketer's Pub. Yeah, it's an English pub where you can get bangers and mash, fish and chips. You can sit out here in the evening and just get drinks. Right next to that is the Japanese restaurant called Kimono's. Where everybody will cook in front of you. It was very good. We went there the other night. And right here is the other main restaurant called Casanova's. It's an Italian restaurant. No reservation required. So here we are down at the beach. They have quite a nice beach here. It doesn't run for a long distance. Can't say you're going to go walking on the beach for half an hour every morning. It's kind of split into two areas. There's this area, and then if you see down there, they have a dock, and then there's beach on the other side. Sandals is known also for weddings. They have a lot of weddings here. Uh, here is a wedding that would have happened yesterday, so this is actually one of the areas where you can have your wedding, right here on the beach. Totally up to you. The thing I like most about Sandals is that they have so many little nooks and crannies where you can just get away from everybody if you want. And here's one of them. It's just a little hot tub. And just has chairs. You can sit out here. It's 
kind of in the middle of nowhere, kind of at the end of the property. So you're going to find some peace and quiet here. I'm going to take you to probably one of the nicest wedding venues. It's just right here in this gazebo with the angels on both sides. Wedding coordinators here do an excellent job. You can see them moving people around making sure everybody is where they need to be. So these are kind of two lunchtime venues pretty well. This restaurant right here, outdoor, fully open, is Tex-Mex. They have nachos. You can just go up and grab a plate of nachos whenever you like. They also have the best burgers, curly fries. That's kind of a dining option. I just want to show you this oven. So they've just built this oven and they're going to start making their own Italian breads just like out in a hot oven. Most of the nightly entertainment's kind of held here on the patio so it really carries throughout the resort. You can see there's a lot of places to sit out front here. And here's the place that you cannot miss. It's the pizzeria. They make the best pizzas here. They're also made in a hot stone oven, so they're thin and crispy. You can order off the menu, or you can get your own, make your own. And right in front of us is the pier. So you're gonna go out in the pier to catch any of your snorkeling trips, your ferry over to the private island. And just right there, you can see that's Gordon's on the pier. And that's, again, another five-star restaurant, but open only to those that have butler service. So, or you can pay a surcharge. $140 if you want to eat out there. So we're in the Balmoral Tower, room 309. We're oceanfront. Has a really big mirror here in the hallway so you can see yourself before you go out. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So all the rooms are pretty well the same. They all have a king size four poster bed in them. With the big flat screen TV. Because we're in concierge service we get a full bar. So all those bottles are complimentary and then at the bottom is our fridge so we get free beer, water, wine, pop. You get a little chair and tables. And just another big mirror. So I'll take you out to the patio. So our patio is ocean view so we can see right up to the pier and it kind of comes with two chairs and it's kind of nice it comes with two lounge chairs so we get the sun at night so in the morning when we're sitting out here having breakfast it's nice there's just, just in the shade just sitting in the shade so you can hear the pool people are just Getting ready to go vote for supper, or not. <laughs> this is the quiet pool on this side by the Balmoral Tower. And across from us then is the Windsor Tower. The nice thing that I really like about this room is the way the bathroom is set up. It has two sinks, so it has one outside the bathroom and one inside. So you have this bathroom here, just has a sink with a lighted mirror. It's very nice. So you can actually get ready out here while somebody's having a shower. And then your full closets. You also have an in-room safe, an iron and an ironing board. And then just your bathroom with another full sink and another lit up light. Comes with a hair dryer. Comes with the four products from the Red Line Spa. 
which is um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and moisturizer. And then I just have the big shower with the big rain head. It's very nice. So a very nice bathroom. The Balmoral Tower has been redone, so you'll see everything looks brand new.